Hello everyone, this is Mental Health World Live channel. More and more people are drinking alcohol at home because of the corona disaster. Gradually, they began to drink more and more, and many are worried about how much they will become alcoholics and what condition is alcoholism. Alcoholism is a state of drinking to the point of sacrificing people and things that are important to you. For example, you have an important job tomorrow, but you drink late and fail to get the job done. You have housework and childcare to do, but you don't do them, and you drink during the day. You have diabetes or liver disease, but you cannot stop drinking, and so on. Alcoholism is not only a problem of a person's nature and personality, but also a problem of the environment they are in. Let us explain who is most likely to become alcoholic. If you fall into this list, please be careful how you drink alcohol. Number one, drinking from a young age. It is statistically known that the younger a drinker starts drinking, the greater the risk of becoming addicted. For every year earlier the person starts drinking, the chance of becoming addicted is set to increase by five percent. Number two, many family members and close friends are drinkers. A family member with a drinking habit may be less cautious about alcoholism. They may allow their underage children to drink. Also, if a close friend who you see often is a drinker. You are more likely to be influenced by them. Number three, parents are alcoholics. Having an alcoholic parent increases a person's chance of becoming addicted fourfold. It is said that half of the causes of alcoholism are genetic. Alcoholic families also have many fights between couples, and the children may be exposed to violence. This can lead to emotional instability in the children, making them more likely to become alcoholics as adults. Number four, women more than men. Although the number of alcoholics is higher among men, more young women are becoming addicted to alcohol these days. The time to become an alcoholic is shorter for women than for men, and women are more likely to have higher blood alcohol levels and a variety of problems with the same amount of alcohol consumed. Number five, loneliness. Alcoholism among the elderly is on the rise these days. The trigger is loneliness due to retirement or the death of a spouse. Drinking alcohol temporarily relieves loneliness by getting drunk. It is an easy way to feel content and secure in one's mind, a feeling that should normally be satisfied by human relationships. But this is an illusory sense of fulfillment. As soon as you sober up, you are dragged back to reality. If you resolve this problem by drinking each time, you will drink more and become an alcoholic. Number six, depression and panic attacks. Forty percent of people with depression have a problem with drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol temporarily removes the feeling of depression. It is like a quick fix that increases dopamine in the brain. This is why depression often leads to alcoholism, and why alcoholics sometimes become depressed. In fact, excessive drinking is also a cause of extended depression. It delays recovery from depression and makes antidepressant less effective. These are six characteristics of people who are likely to become alcoholics. Not long ago, it was said that if you became an alcoholic, you had to stop drinking anyway. That so-called sobriety was the cure. But recently, it is considered important to reduce the amount of alcohol, even if only a little. The less the amount, the fewer the problems associated with alcohol in proportion. It would be good for you to reduce to a low-risk drinking amount that is less likely to cause problems. WHO defines low-risk drinking as a daily alcohol consumption of up to 40 grams for men and 20 grams for women. For example, for 5% beer or sour, men can drink up to two 500 milliliter cans, and women can drink up to one 500 milliliter can. For 50% sake, men are limited to two go, and women are limited to one go. For 12% wine, men may drink up to 400 milliliter. A woman may drink up to 200 milliliter. For 43% whiskey and brandy, men are limited to 120 milliliter, and women are limited to 60 milliliter. The first step in drinking less is to keep a daily record of how much you drink. Before throwing away your empty cans, write down the number of drinks you have had on a calendar. Drinking alcohol is merely a virtual experience that raises dopamine in the brain, a pleasure that should be fulfilled in relationships. If so. To reduce alcohol consumption, you just need to fulfill your original relationships, get away from drinking, and find alternative pleasures.
it is difficult to become a person who does not want to drink. But you can create an environment where you forget to drink. These days, treatment is not only abstinence from alcohol, but also reduction of alcohol consumption. Some treatments include the use of alcohol reducing drugs that reduce the desire to drink. Please do not keep the problem of alcohol dependence to yourself, but consult a psychiatrist. This is Mental Health for Life channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and give us a high rating.